Welcome back, my loyal subjects of Funk, to a brand new Alette Funking player, and we are playing a Warhammer Total War with a brand new campaign. And um, as the Vought won in my vlog last night to play the Vampire Counts, so I'm going to start off by playing the Vampire Counts, um, which will be good. The vampires have even been a plague upon the living. And none more so than Von Karstein's an abominable bloodline of undead nobles from the deathly realm of Sylvania. So, oh god, I'm so excited to play this game. I had a quick go at it last night and it just looked so good. Corruption can be spread in enemy territory, raise dead. New units can be raised from the dead in any province. Famous battle sites provide bonuses to the quantity and quality of options available. You can only capture territory belonging to other vampire count uh, factions or any human factions except for Norska. Right, and I get why, because they're all the undead. They're all humanoid, aren't they, pretty much? Apart from dragons and stuff like that. But yeah, but these are our uh, top units. Vargulf, which they're pretty fucking cool. Hex Wraiths and Terrorgeists. And the initial challenge is uh, normal, so we're going to continue. And I'm going to pick Manfred von Karstein over um, Henrik Kemmler. We're going to pick him because, well mainly because, here's the picture that I found for my thumbnail of the uh, vampire counts. And um, I don't know what to go for difficulty, because this is my first playthrough and we don't want to fuck it up. I might go for a normal one this time, a, a, a hard one should I say this time, don't want to go normal. Um, it's either hard or very hard. Normal will be way too easy. Maybe we should just go normal for now. I mean hard, nah, fuck it, we'll go very hard. Let's start the campaign, get this thing on the road. Very hard, yes please. So yeah, this is actually, the cutscenes are far superior uh, running faster than Attila, <laughs> which is funny. They're really smooth. As inevitable as the grave. Some fools think it worth saving. But there are beings who wish to bring about an eternal night. I am a bearer of law to those with such power. Oh, very nice. The mighty vampire counts of the von Karstein bloodline. It's going to raise the dead yet, thought so. My master, very good. Manfred, has returned from the dead once more. He marches on the von Karstein ancestral pile of Castle Dragonhof. Yeah, I have brought him ill news. We'll watch this now. I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Claimed the fortress as his own. Here we go. Manfred must retake his ancient stronghold and either destroy the usurper within or bind him to his will. Castle Drakenhof is back in your hands, my unliving sire. Yet you have many enemies, both living and dead. Okay, guys. I'm just going to skip this little bit. I have already fought... Well, there's a little intro to this, actually, which I've already done. A mission issued. Defeat an army belonging to the faction of the, these lots. There's an army here, and we'll go and fight it in a minute. We'll fight our first battle. Um... Which is very nice. I've done all the tutorial before, so we've skipped that pretty much. It's standard Total War, you know how it works. Um, and what we'll do is we will go ahead, we'll click on the old Manfred Ron Karstein. And we'll go and attack, and we'll do our first battle. There was another battle taken over this uh, castle, 
as like a tutorial battle. But uh, like I said, I had to go on this the other night to make sure that I could uh, play it properly. And we'll go ahead and we'll get in and fight this one on the map. It's a pretty easy one. But let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. Very nice. So yeah, the, the, the game is so nice. And it works a lot better than I thought it would ever work on my computer. So that makes me really pleased. Excellent, we're in. And we do not need to gamble on 23, I don't think. And especially for a battle like this. There is the gambling ability there that I have uh, watched a couple of videos of this um, from the VTuber recently to see what it's all about. And um, yeah, obviously we've got power 23 out of 30. You can gamble and see if you can get it higher so you can cast more spells. But um, who needs to gamble on 23? Let's go ahead and set the boys up. So this is a... Uh, it's not a bad speed and it hasn't really been reduced, the frame rate. Uh, despite the fact that I have uh, started recording the game so yeah it looks really nice you know despite being uh, on fairly relatively low settings if I'm honest with you yes we've got some good units here as well we want to hold on to the good units because we're not going to get them back if we lose them and I'm talking about you know this big stud here which we'll, we'll bring over here now we'll put him on the left and um, we'll put the bats on the left as well obviously we've got flying bats here which look fairly decent but they're very vulnerable they can drop like absolute sacks of crap um, which is uh, not what we want and then we've got this gentleman here which is um, what is he actually he's called uh, Ragulf and he's pretty, he's really sweaty. He's brilliant. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the old Astartio button. Where's Manfred? Where did we put him? We did put him in the wind. Right. I'm going to go ahead and just basically advance these. The hell? Is that because some of these are behind towers? Oh, start battle. Of course. And uh, one thing I have noticed about the undead, which is uh, absolutely brilliant, is basically the fact that they are animated corpses, so we will have no issues um, running them into battle. I think that's it. They don't get fatigued. Animated, yeah. I think it just stays like that forever. I'm going to bring these two around the, uh, the side to use as um, maneuvering units. The same goes with the zombies, like obviously the zombies are there usually as uh, fodder for arrows etc. But as we are fighting another undead army, and undead armies don't really have, um, but what I've noticed is they don't have any missile units, there's no archer units or anything. Which actually makes this a little bit more challenging for me because um, previously I've always been very much into... Um, Missile units. That's my way of doing things. I think we'll go ahead and uh, charge straight in. Pretty much. Yeah, we'll click on that. Are these on the, the yeah, these are on the left. Go ahead and click these in, and we'll get Manfred in there as well for now. Is it Manfred? Manfred von Karstein, which is pretty cool. I like how uh, the name of the other, the other dude. Sounds very, you know, Nazi-ish. I suppose they're designed to emulate that sort of thing. Which is pretty cool. Nice bit of writing there. But this is going to be the first of two Let's Plays. I don't know if I'm going to put them out at the same time. I want to Let's Play everything on this, actually. Fuck it. Let's uh, let's go down to slow-mo. I'm surprised how well this runs. on. I honestly, it was such a gamble when I was going to buy it. They look pretty cool. I might put the unit detail up to high, actually. It's on medium at the moment, um, and I noticed if you have it on low, two things for people who are playing this on shit computers. If you've got it on low, um, the bodies of fallen men will disappear off the map. You know, to try and so it doesn't clutter it up with too many hard things to uh, for the for the computer to handle, and um, it'll make everybody the same as well. There'll be no unit variations, so you can see how there's different shields here on this on these lot. There'll be none of that. Everyone will just look the same. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you put it up to high, maybe the variation gets bigger. If it does that, then I'll definitely put it up to high. 
but um, yeah, I've noticed that there's no frame drops if you um, if you put textures up to uh, high. So I got my textures on high, which was the recommended thing for low settings, anyhow. Okay, I'm gonna charge this sod in. He's not gonna die. Anyway, let's put it back on. Oh, you gotta watch these zombies, you see, because they're not very fast at all. And that's probably the only thing that makes you want to. Uh... I mean, that looks pretty cool, to be honest. Have they all got the same weapons, or that's the thing? Oh no, some of them have got scythes, axes. That's really good, and that's how it should be. One thing that I don't like about the game is, um, like these. The, the the colour on the magic and stuff reminds me very much of that Warcraft sort of graphics -y thing where I think I'm watching a cartoon rather than anything else. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. The skeleton warriors are now in the, in the mix. One thing that I've noticed... Oh, well, I haven't noticed, but one thing I'm thinking about... Oh, look at that. You can see some uh, Empire troops are definitely in the mix here in these zombies. Ooh. They're actually doing a bit of damage against that was my that was the first guy to die as well. Alright, these dire wolves are getting a pretty hard time of it by the looks of things. Where is their enemy a general? Skeleton warriors. Zombies. I presume he's in here. Zombies. Swordsman. Oh there he is. Right, so we knew he was somewhere. Where's these zombies at? Let's put it back on standard speed. I'm gonna bring this guy over here and I'll use one of his uh, spirit leech. Causes damage to combatants. Let's put it on there, General. Um, and we mustn't actually. Ah! It's Crypt Girls as well. Let's bring them around. Oh shit, they are wanting to waver though, which isn't good. Hopefully we can uh, recover some form with these. I think we're going to win this one easy, yeah. And we'll have these Crypt Girls. We've got to keep them alive as well, because they're another unique unit. So we don't want to mess about. Let's have a look. Looks smart, doesn't it, like? Oh, hopefully they'll bring out more units for the game. I know they're basing it a lot on Games Workshops models and stuff. But um, I'd like to see some missile units for most factions. I'd like them to bring out the uh, the archers that the Empire have. You can get archers for uh, the Empire Army in Games Workshop, and they uh, um, they're really cool. They're just like they're not, I don't think, I'm not sure how strong they are, but yeah, you can get archers for the Empire. Surprisingly, I know it's only crossbowmen and hand gunners on this one. Let's go ahead and now commit the bats because you got to be careful. These are really vulnerable, but they're good, flexible units. Very good. Okay, here we go. Oh, right. So those zombies are now going to be getting stuck in with that. Let's have a look here, we've got another one here. What's this? Law of Vampires. Alright, so we do have different things here. Resurrects dead combatants, replenishes HP of combatants. And we definitely want it on uh, the ghouls. Because the ghouls are, are dropping men like there's no tomorrow. So hopefully that'll help. Why is he running away? He's really strong, by the way. There, you can see how our bats are uh, dying pretty fast. They'll probably be dealing out. They'll probably be glass cannons, I imagine, dealing out a lot of damage, but uh, don't have much in the way of health. That's the way I feel about them. But as we've pretty much got these uh, crumbling, oh, that's another thing. The undead, uh, they tend to have ridiculously high morale, and trying to get them to run is a nightmare. But there we go, pretty much got them all now. Yeah, our bats are actually wavering a little bit. More so than their other units. So 
so the bats are pretty much wanting to run now. So let's go ahead and commit. Definitely this guy. Oh shit, we're all, all ready to go now. I'm actually going to leave the Crypt Girls out of this, I think, right now. I need to learn a little bit more about how good they, what these units like can do. Like what they're best suited for. I mean, are they suited as shock infantry? I just don't know how uh, what would be the best way to use the Crypt Girls. But obviously we need to keep hold of the... Uh... What the hell? These are, are these running? Right, okay, here we go. Ooh, he's in the mix now. He's knocked him over really fast. So, with Manfred being a wizard, he's not the best uh, person that you want in combat. We should probably get a hero at some point to do melee stuff and keep uh, Manfred out of the uh, the mix. But yeah, I'm just I'm surprised how fast this is running. It's just I'm so pleased that we can play this to a satisfactory standard. And hopefully, yeah, actually I'm going to go ahead and commit these because it'll uh, it'll help destroy the morale of the gent yeah he won't be able to kill all 32 of these as well yeah he's not gonna like this one bit we'll go ahead and put the uh... oh there we go I think is he running? We're all chasing him now so yeah we're down to half health brilliant we have won this easily, so let's go ahead and fast forward it, actually. The enemy lord is dead. Decisive victory. Very good. And that's actually better than I did when I tested this campaign last night. Because I, I thought Manfred was going to be really strong, and I just put him in as a 1v1 against uh, um, Dieter the Stickler. And um, he didn't do too well, let's put it that way. As you can see, Dieter the Stickler killed 70 and I killed 35. So that's wonderful. They've lost all of their men, and that's another thing that I've noticed what happens with the undead. They lose all of their men when they die, and uh, we only lose a small amount. Well, we, if, if, if they get defeated, I think the whole unit collapses by the looks of things. Like, if he dies, as opposed to, to just being wounded, then I think it's the necromancer that's obviously animating all the other troops. Decisive a victory. That was a real good kill that Luke gained 490. I like that system. So we can go ahead and either increase the leadership by murdering the captives. Um, return captives, dark magic, 230. Is that dark magic there? Obedience to vampires. Oh, that's good. Um, do we want leadership or unit replenishment? I'm going to go for leadership. I'm going to uh, go for a slightly longer enemy killed in battle, Dita the Stickler. Right, capture the following settlement, Eshin, magic, plus a hundred. Yeah, we should really think about doing that, actually. I mean, we could go on and attack Castle Templehof, but I have a real strong feel feeling that the garrison will be pretty sweaty in Castle Templehof. Actually, it's not that good. But we could do with a few more units, and we could do with a little bit of uh, healing. So let's go ahead and hit the old Arrays Dead. We haven't got any spearmen actually, I would quite like some of them. Is that how many? This is Raise the Dead. This is what we can raise from Raising the Dead. And it costs Total Dark Magic and Predicted Income, yeah. What's the one the alright, oh, lowers the predict that's upkeep on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get pretty much all of these. I think we can raise them straight off the bat. Ugh, straight off the bat, no pun. And, oh, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Then we can go ahead and re do a proper recruitment. So we could go ahead and take over Castle... Uh... Oh god, they've got quite a few spots. Could go ahead and take over Castle Templehof this turn, maybe, actually. Does that mean I can still move off? It does. Um, apparently we have an upgrade here. I think. Character details. Let's click on skills. Do we have upgrades? One skill point, yeah. I thought so. The hunger. 
Passive ability. I like passive abilities. Replenishes HP of combatants in uh, I presume that's within the leadership area. That would be really nice. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one straight away. Maybe I've chosen the wrong one there, but um I'd really like the HP of combatants to be uh helped along. Do we want to sit here for a turn, or do we want to go and take Tam Castle Templehof straight away? That's the question. Let's have a quick look around the map. Here's the uh, the dwarves, and they look fucking cool. I love the amount of detail in this um, in this campaign map. Look at that. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. It it's not doesn't just stop there. If you look over here, you've got a, the bridge, and I think I've seen units walking around here before, at least in a testing the, the game but I might be wrong um, oh, it's just it goes on for like ever and there's a little thing there as well look little castle there it's just really cool it's really cool the amount of detail the bridge and um, yeah up here we've got orcs right up in the mountains I love the terrain how we can go so high and into different spots and stuff and if you look at some of the paths that you can take around here like down here, we could come up here if we wanted and come around here, or come take a long way around. You can go like, and look at this, right? And I don't know if you can actually do the. F it looks like you can travel around all these paths. I mean, I haven't actually a clue whether you can, but um, if you keep going back, there's like, there's just so much terrain. I don't know if you can actually walk out here or if it stops you. I just don't know the crack. But anyhow. Let's have a look, we'll check out the garrison one more time on this um, particular castle. Let's see what he has. Now we can't, the thing about these being undead, but they have four units of skeletons, two units of zombies, and two units of fell bats. Now that's providing they don't have any more in there, I don't think they do, and they won't have a leader as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight against our we've got quite a lot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go straight for castle uh, Templehof do you mind a fucking course eh? absolutely that's the story of my life isn't it that is the story of my life right <laughs> let's go ahead and put this into um I think it's forced march dance Actually, do we need it in Force March Stance? Yeah, we do. <sighs> I'm just going to go and move it back here and hope for the best. So we can get the uh, the replenishment this turn. That's absolutely typical. Anyway, we'll go and do some Castle Darkenhof this turn. And let's have a look. Province Overview. And the one thing we do want would be... we've got. I mean, we've got the Sedimentary Level 1. Grave guard, required build armory, skeleton spears. We will be able to hire some skeleton spears if we get this up to the next level. We have a few different things here. Military support, infrastructure. I'm going to go for possibly an infrastructure building here. Charnel pit. The mass grave acts like a locus for uh, necromancers and their ilk. Uh, ooh. Growth plus 20. Generated income plus 500. I'm going to go for that. It's going to keep it safe with the old income right now. Let's have a look. Here's our technology, by the way. So we can go for the Book of Amkar. There's, a, there's quite a few options here, actually. There's four options, but it depends what it's going to lead on to. Um, so if we have minus 10% upkeep for Crypt Girls and Crypt Horrors. And that's uh, something that we really want to be looking into. I might just go for the basic one to begin with and get the upkeep of like skeleton warriors and spearmen down. I think that might be a, a good thing to go down. Money is always the key to success and I will go ahead and end turn. So we'll get that in about three turns. And uh, look at that. Moves, it moves faster than it does in Attila Total War. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like it's better, it moves better. Did it what the hell? Right, so there we go. We go on standard. Let's see if there's any more dead to raise. Oh, these are uh, some zombies we can get. That's actually not bad at all. Let's go and attack Castle uh, Templehof. 
and it's only uh, it's only a medium. I suspect I thought we would have been able to win that last turn. Right, situation: we got murdered captives, so we got a plus four leadership anyhow. Um, what's that there? Skill character skill level one. I mean, we've both got bats, yeah, but they've got spears. We've got spears as well. One unit. We can win this. Oh, have they got a Gregor von Karstein, Templehof. Right, so they have got a leader, which is probably bringing this back and closer to normal. Oh, we have to construct some siege equipment. Um, hmm. Labor forced cost. Um, Rampire siege. That'll take two turns. And this one, battering ram, will take one turn. It'll take three turns to do the lot. I'm going to go ahead and get the battering ram. I think. And then we'll reassess the situation in the following turn. And we'll hope. We've seen troops here look moving around though, and I really don't like the look of that. I didn't expect that to happen. We might have to end up retreating from here. I wonder if we can actually hire troops in enemy lands. Ah, oh, we can. Yes. Let's just get the lot. Let's not fuck about here. 18 troops. We're up to a very sweaty amount now. Hopefully that'll be enough to deter these lot from uh, attacking us. Hopefully. Right, we've still got things getting built there. Could we uh, do some diplomacy, perhaps? Technology. Objectives. Let's have a look at the lob campaign objectives. Of course we need to do this. Right, so the, uh, the short campaign is to control 20 provinces. I'm assuming this is just a settlement rather than a province. Either by direct ownership or through vassals and military alliances. Classic. Um, ensure that any military presence belonging to the Warriors of Chaos faction exists only in the following region. Chaos Wastes. Um, destroy the following factions. The Empire. <laughs> That's brilliant. Anyway. Oh. So let's do try and do some diplomacy. See who wants to talk to us right now. Probably no one. I can't see anybody wanting to trade with us. Right, these are don't mind us. Oh. Ah. We might be onto something here. Because. Let's it have a look. A pleasure. A dubious pleasure. To welcome a fellow. Ah, low chance of uh, signing the trade deal here. So I'm going to go ahead and then turn. Sod it. Let's just then turn. Let's hope that these don't attack us. We haven't a clue what they're going to do. They're probably going to hire troops. Oh shit, man. The fuck is that all about? Are they coming to attack us? We could be in some serious trouble here. Let's go ahead, click on here. I mean, we're almost got. Attack. Are we at war with the dwarfs? I just don't know. Right, there's no more troops to hire. Let's go ahead and attack. And we'll fight this one on the map again. I think we'll do this easy. Well, we should do. We've got a shitload of zombies. Unless he's, like, really good. But we need to play more. We need to do a... You know, the first X amount of battles need to be fought on the map, guys. So... Okay, so we're going to have to put a plan into action here. Um, I'm thinking... This is my plan. What is that over there? It's like a ramp. It's not. It's just a... Uh, Props against the wall. Anyhow, right, I'm not going to gamble on that. 22 will do me just fine for this battle, I think. Um, who has... No, drop that. I want the... Uh, I want some crypt ghouls to... Um, sorry, not some zombies to take up hold of this. We're going to put this here for now. And then we're going to put all the other zombies. Basically, let's start deployment. Um, let's start battle, should I say. And we'll move all these right up to here. Oh shit, man. Let's put all No wonder this is not as easy as it said it would be. Right. We'll go ahead and get that on the old attack. I mean, how much. What range do these things have? No way, can they just shoot anywhere on the map? The 
bats are getting hammered as well. They're all getting hammered. Can they just shoot anywhere they want on the map? That would be catastrophic if that were the case. I'm hoping we can use the zombie fodder. Let's go ahead and fast forward this for now. Damn, I'm gutted about that. You know, we need to get in here as fast as we can or we're going to lose this. And if we lose this, I'm going to be learning some hard mistakes about this game. Right. So we're using the zombies as fodder right now. Right, what we got here? Zombies. There's no point in them being on the walls. We should have maybe have waited another turn. But we've got, um... Unfortunately, we have the... Are they come out to attack this? Yeah. Oh God! They're going for the. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, don't want to do that. Let's first of all, these bats are expendable, so let's go ahead and get these in the mix. We'll just get these all to fight. Same goes here for these. Let's have a look. Hopefully we can uh, batter these rat uh, bats into submission. Are these actually attacking? Yeah, go on, make them drop. They're actually doing quite good. Once we've got the bats out the way though, we are sorted. Let's move our bats over here. Oh, look at that man, it's just a fucking joke. Can we put these in loose no we can't so yeah we've got a few problems of our own here shit man just go ahead and get the, the fucking bats taken care of this is exactly what I thought they'd do harass us with um with the bats to stop us getting the go on get on get on there Yes, go on lads, get it forward a bit. Oh shit man. Oh is that the unit or is that the actual Yes, yeah, see look at this, it's constantly being Yeah, go on lads. What happens if we just put it on? Yeah, we might as well leave it on standard speed, because I don't think it's really speeding anything up. Right, so who's getting battered here on the left? My spearmen. Do they have shields? No, I don't... Oh, they do have shields. Good. That'll be fine, then. We'll just let them get butched. Right, this is going to get in. Which is very nice. Come on, hurry up and kill these. This shouldn't take too long now. And once we're there, and once we're beating this door in, we can just get the lads straight up to the uh, the door. I'd say just speed up a little bit. It's better off putting it on that. Could speed it up to full in standard LAN battles, but in this, um, the computer's not quite good enough to do anything better. Right, here we go, we're finally here. And the zombies are dropping like flies around fucking shit, by the way. I'm quite worried about the uh, the outcome of this battle. Hey, I'm going to charge uh, this gentleman in first, pretty much. Right, damage is up to 24. I'm going to go ahead then and move everyone in. If it's getting damaged that fast, then fuck it. Bring them here. Yes, we're in. Right. This man's coming in first. Oh. Keep accidentally doing that. I wish that option would go off. The uh, the one that keeps doing that. Let's get inside. Once we're in, we're past that point. In fact, let's just. Apart from these bats, we don't. We want to keep the bats out of it for now. Actually, no, we don't. We want to get them over here. Let's 
to get them over the top and through and we'll just uh, we'll use them as a, more of a scouts really than anything else I mean we, there's no archers, the enemy don't have archers, I don't even know how they got um, we'll put them above some houses they can sit and do what they want there for now right so he's in first damn it guys we took a lot of damage here just because um, of these fort towers look at the zombies have been ruined but we do have the ability to heal the troops once we're in and we do have um, vampiric that's right leadership is uh, can't use if leadership is broken resurrects dead combatants you go for it sir Right, we all in now. Right, the towers have pretty much stopped fighting, so we are fine from this point, I think. Zombies are running in. Very nice. Ooh, what does this mean? Well, these are controlled by no one. Ah, so you actually have to have control of them from them to be able to, uh, how do I put it, fight. Um, for them to be able to fire, you have to have troops stationed on them. So that's, uh, there's no wonder there why we were struggling a bit with that one. What's going on here? I wonder where the man is himself. Should we go and look for him? I suspect he will be. I mean, this is the central plaza. So where is he? the leader that's pretty cool by the way I do like how it um these think these things look it's a really good game I think there just needs to be more units and a few extra bits and pieces here and then we'll be absolutely fine yeah, go ahead and try and capture this central plaza I assume you can't do it with a uh, flying Units that'll probably be a feature that they've introduced. Otherwise, we'd just have a excessive amount of problems here. Right, what we got here causes excellent. I'll have a piece of that. Christ, we aren't actually doing very good here. Which is a huge worry. A huge one. Law of vampires. Who are we going to use it on? Can we use it on him? Can we use it on the Crypt Girls? Ah, oh, we are using it. Go on lads, get this fucking sorted man. The zombies are dropping like sacks of shit. And I haven't even got a chevron to show for their uh, abilities. Right, so these are a unit of spears waiting here. Your lord is under attack. I'm sure he will be fine. Can the lord get chevrons, I wonder? Right, so we are starting to make some dents in the enemy, but it's it's a little bit and not enough to really show any worth however guys we are coming to the end of this session so we'll have to find out the result of this next time I mean we should win but the zombies are going to retreat we're going to lose something which I'm, I'm glad I raised the dead here because um, that seemed to have been a very beneficial to us anyhow guys I think um, we'll call it a day so thanks for watching and goodbye